welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you guys through my morning devotional routine. And I like to start out my morning with just gathering everything that I need. My books, my uh, notebook pen, my devotional books, lighting a few candles, getting the tea that I want to sip on throughout this time. And then I just start to write to God. I just write a reflective type of writing style just to let him know how I'm feeling that day maybe something that may be bothering me maybe something that might have happened that I just need some clarity on whatever I'm feeling I just begin to write it down I also use this particular time of writing as a measuring tool this will make so much more sense at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned to see what I mean but I use this to measure um, this devotional as well Next, I pull out my um, new devotional um, book that I purchased uh, from Walmart. Um, I did put this um, on my Instagram uh, post where you can see like the inspiration behind me purchasing these two books. But this smaller one is more so like a little devotional. It says prayers, but I feel like it's like a little devotional. And... I like to particularly pay attention to the scripture at the bottom. For you were continually straying like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. 1 Peter 2, 25. So this is important to me because I'm going to use this as the basis of my devotional today. So I'm going to take that scripture. I'm going to go ahead and fold in my paper so I know where to start again. The next time that I do my devotional but that scripture is going to be the leader of this devotional so I'm going to go to my Bible go to 1st Peter 2 25 um, and what I typically do is really just search for the whole chapter I would try to read the entire chapter of 1st Peter 2 Sometimes I just start with the, the portion where it's sectioned off, where it would give you some sort of title. And, um, and I'll start reading from there. So that is where I would start my Bible reading. Now I'm going to go on to the second devotional. And this one you can tell um, I've already been using it. I like this one so much because of that little note section and the little quote section that it gives. A little, a little extra elements um, and variety to this devotional. Now, I will also go ahead and search out the Bible scripture um, for whatever that devotional had highlighted in that book. Um, and once I do that, read that chapter, I will go on to do the reflection here, which says, in what way will you regularly plug into God's power going forward? Um, I will go ahead and start to write in that note section, and I also would read that quote for the day. Uh, to help myself kind of get into the groove of things and yeah So now I'm going to go to my TV and put on Amazon Music Station called Marden Gospel. Now this is something that I try to do in the very beginning like as soon as I wake up. But I did forget this morning so I'm going to go ahead and put it on now. Um, now this video clip is a little bit wonky. I don't know exactly why it's like lagging or something. But it 
it it is necessary that you guys see this part so i wanted to leave it in um you can always use you know headphones or um you know your music from anywhere you know your ipad or something like that but this is the way that i do it i use amazon music and i go to the station and just let it run now prince does usually sleep throughout this time period but sometimes he does wake up so i try to keep the volume down very very low so that i don't wake him up So once I find the station, I go back to do um, my phone devotional. Now that part is missing from this video because of how I had to, to record this to get everything on this platform. But that's when I just kind of go through the Babel app U version and I screenshot everything for you guys and put it on my instagram stories every morning if you're not following me on instagram please make sure you do so um because that is where you will find me a lot of the times i'll put my information in the description box as well as on the screen um and once i go and do that i come back to this original notebook that i was writing my feelings down of how i was feeling that morning and i write down how I'm feeling now like what I want God to know now and I kind of do like a prayer journaling and then I just begin to let the music take over and my emotions take over and I go ahead and begin my prayer time this is the measurable part of the devotional where I can compare how I felt when I first started to how I'm feeling now it's a very emotional part of the devotional as well and it's probably my most favorite part the prayer time and that is pretty much how I conduct my typical morning devotional routine I hope this helps you out a lot and if you have any questions please leave all of your comments down below um, I'm here to answer any questions you may have about how I got started, you know, what tools you need, um, if you need a prayer partner, anything like that, I am here for you guys. Um, also, I want to mention something. I am doing a giveaway, if you didn't already know. And this giveaway is going to be for reaching 100 subscribers here on YouTube. So you have to be subscribed to my channel, obviously. You have to be following me on Instagram at being Kimberly underscore Ojo. Share this post that you will see on my Instagram. It's the latest post on my Instagram page. So share that and also comment here on this video as well to let me know that you have watched this video. The um, entry will end on the 19th of September. The prize is a $25 gift card and a chance to do a collaboration here on the YouTube platform with me. So good luck to everyone who enters and good luck especially to the one who actually does win the giveaway. I look forward to working with you. Um, and I will see you guys on my next video. Have a good day community and talk to you soon.